China's global reach is more than economic. Their military spending is now second only to the U.S. That's one reason President Trump called out China and Russia as rivals to U.S. interests and values. But in examining China's impressive arsenal, we found strikingly suspicious similarities to some American weapons. Our Lisa Fletcher talked with a former top Pentagon official about the stolen secrets. The F-35 has taken more than 20 years and ultimately will cost a trillion dollars to take flight. The high-tech fifth-generation stealth aircraft is the latest and greatest for the U.S. and its allies to have a competitive edge in the skies. That is, until the Chinese unveiled their newest addition, the J-31. What emerged was that the Chinese came up with a couple of stealth fighters that look an awful lot like the F-35. Dr. Stephen Bryan served as Deputy Undersecretary of Defense at the Pentagon. He, like others, claims the Chinese based their latest fighter jet off of American blueprints. What happened when the Chinese stole the F-35 plans? Well, I mean, this was a theft with intention. The Chinese said, you know, if we're going to deal with the Americans on an equal basis, we have to have stealthy aircraft. Well, the easy place to do is to steal the American design, copy it, and it's exactly what they've done. So they built the J-20, which is already deployed. The Pentagon huddled with defense companies in 2007 to urge firms to better protect their networks. Two years later came the suspected breach of F-35 design data. And so instead of having an indomitable F-35 fleet that can do what it wants, now we're not so sure. We have a problem. And we may confront Chinese fighters in the future if we're not careful. Who knows? I mean, it's not a good thing. And, and, the, and, the, and the, I think it could have been prevented. Equally alarming, weaponized drones. Here are the iconic, American-researched, designed, as well as built, MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper. Here are the Chinese versions, the Wing Lung 1 and Wing Lung 2. Defense analysts say the less reliable Chinese versions are turning up in cash-strapped militaries around the globe because they sell for a few million dollars, a fraction of the cost of the American drones. I like to say we have two defense budgets, one for us and one for them. Because the truth of the matter is we're underwriting the Chinese uh, military. And the U.S. isn't the only victim. China bought advanced Su-33 jets used by Russia. And its designers quickly turned out their own version, the Shenyang J-15 Flying Shark. Around 20 now serve on China's first aircraft carrier, Liaoning. But Many, many systems are being compromised, whether it's drones, whether it's aircraft, whether it's naval uh, equipment, whether it's submarines, you know, go on and on and on, because it's all vulnerable. And, and look, even our defense contractors know that. I mean, they worry about it. But it's very difficult to protect using commercial hardware, and there's no other hardware. You can't go out and buy a secure computer today because there isn't any. And, and certainly none that's really protected by the U.S. government. So we need to have a whole change uh, in how we go about this if we're going to have protection in the future. I think we need the equivalent of a Manhattan Project for computers like we did for the atomic bomb. In a report published in 2017, the Commission on the Theft of American Intellectual Property named China as the main offender. In fact, 87% of counterfeit goods coming into the U.S. are Chinese. That same report estimates the annual cost to the U.S. economy could be as high as $600 billion per year in counterfeit goods, pirated software, and theft of trade secrets. It also estimates that at this rate, the U.S. has suffered roughly $1.2 trillion in economic damage. And based on what you're saying, it sounds like we're a sieve in terms of... We are a, t a total sieve, yeah. The U.S. is the most vulnerable country in the world. You know, we spend the most on defense of any country in the world. We have the most advanced systems of any country in the world. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But if we're going to give it away to the whole world, we're neutralizing ourselves, aren't we? 
So the Chinese military reportedly held its first ever combat exercise with the J-20s just a couple weeks ago. Wow. And why is that important specifically? Well, it's important because the planes and the pilots who are flying them are now fully operational and ready for deployment. Here in the U.S., the F-35s have been on practice missions, but they are not officially deployed. Interesting. Thank you, Lisa.